accent. V. Frostbite by Activision. Designed by Steve Cartwright, it was released for the Atari 2600 on August 14th, 1983. Up to two players take control of Frostbite Bailey and has to build igloos by jumping across floating blocks while avoiding obstacles so you can rack up the points. You control Bailey by moving him around with the joystick and the button is used to make the blocks reverse direction, but we'll get back to that. This can be looked at like a combo of Frogger with a little bit of Cuber to mix it all into a nice blizzard flurry. The goal, like I said, is to build an igloo, and you must do that before the temperature reaches a chilling zero. You do this by hopping across the ice blocks, and each row of blocks you step on will be highlighted and add a block to your igloo somehow. But after a while, this task will get difficult as there will be hazards like killer clams, snow geese, Alaskan king crab, and the polar grizzly bear. Each creature will become an obstruction to your progress, getting in the way of your igloo building. However, the fish can be collected for extra bonuses if you have time in between to catch some good salmon. If you're able to build the igloo and get inside before you potentially freeze, you'll move on to the next round with increased difficulty while also getting bonuses for your igloo blocks and whatever temperature is left. But if the temperature reaches zero, fall into the water, or get chased away by a polar bear, you'll lose a life. Lose all your lives, the game is over. As you know with Activision games of this era, you could win a badge by getting to a certain point, and when you reach 40,000 points and send in photo evidence, you would receive a patch to Frostbite Bailey's Arctic Architects. Also if you can continue to 100,000 points or more, that achievement would be signified by a magic fish. Now that's a goal that any Eskimo would want. Overall, this is a unique Atari title. Fun, interesting, one to give you chills any day of the year, even if you already live on top of the world. And stop. Frostbite for the Atari 2600, designed by Steve Cartwright for Activision. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.